if you take a closer look at this you can see that this is bigger than our average pocket right so i'm just going to call this at a total of you can see the wideness here the height is nine inches and the wideness we have here is seven inches the total wideness of the pocket is going to be at a total of five inches and the height is going to be a total of six inches plus the design that's going to top tip is going to be 6.5 in total so i need you guys to pay good attention here so i'm going to fold this together to get the center point let's fold it together like this and just get your center point you can see what i did once i have that center point exactly on that center point i'm going to mark my exact also get your middle points just like this is going to be my middle point as well you can see that so just like so i'm going to have my middle point here so i'll be working with the wrong part so this is my middle point from this my middle point my total height for my pocket is going to be 5.5 that i told you guys the total height sorry six inches so just like this i'm going to divide my six inches exactly at this place you can see that six inches right here and six inches right here also here the wideness of my pocket as i told you guys is going to be a total of five inches that's going to be divided by two that's going to be 2.5 so here we have 2.5 and here we have 2.5 you see that this is what we have so from the middle i'm going to still measure that which is going to be 2.5 here so i can have a straight line on the side here also 2.5 as well We'll do the same thing on this side 2.5 and here also 2.5 you see that so from here you can see that here as well i'm going to connect it together you see that so here as well, I'm just going to make I'll make a straight line here. There also, make sure your rule is straight. So this is my entire pocket. This is my entire pocket itself. So now you have to understand that if you go, if you're placing this on your fabric, this is going to be the right side. This gum part is going to be the one facing the clothes, right? So if this is going to be facing the the design we want to do is going to be on this side which is going to be on the left side. So here is where the design is going to be. So the first thing we are going to do now is to simply curve the edge. So the edge of the pocket is going to be from here, one inch just here, and also one inch at this place, just here. So from this one inch, we are going to have this on our center point, which is going to be here. You can see that. So that's the aim of the pocket. So from here, connect this together. You see that? From here as well, you can see what I'm doing. I'll connect this together. So we have the edge of our pocket. And don't forget this where our design is going to be. So this center point also, I'm going to divide it just like so. You can see that. So from this center point, based on the design we are doing, the design is going to go like this. So here, I'm going to have this come like this, a little bit above the pocket. You can see what I did here, a little bit above the pocket. I'm going to go down just like this. Just a little bit above the pocket. And here, I want it to... So from here, a little bit above the pocket, I'm going to simply slant this this way. I'm not going to use measurement on that all the way like this you can see that and it's going to come just like so just like so you see what i have so as it's come just like so we are going to have an opening in between and the opening is going to have a sharp edge coming like this it's coming like this This is the one that is going to carry the black fabric. The black fabric that will go like this. And this is going to be the main pocket itself. Right? 
so once we have that after cutting this we're still going to overlap it a little bit right so that the black is going to be so at the total we're going to have our wideness at a total of 4.5 inches wideness for the pocket so now once i have that the next thing is to simply start the cutting process so starting from here i'm just going to cut it like so you can see that here cut it straight you can see So this is going to end around here. You can see this is the corner. This is the corner part. This one likewise. I'm just going to cut this one just out like this. You can see this one likewise this one. You can see that. See that? So once you have that, you can see what we are going to be having. This is going to overlap like this, and this is going to be. You can see what the pockets will look like. This will overlap like this, and this is going to be inside. And still going to like come down a little bit see that we are getting somewhere so now this is the fabric we are using white and black so this white right now is going to be i'm going to like wrap this in white now depending on how you want it to be if you want it to be like slant so you're going to wrap this in white and it's going to like come let me turn it it's going to come you can see it is slant so also this one, I'm going to wrap it also in white. It could come in slant or any form. It can just be straight. I want this to be in straight. I want this to be in slant. And this one, I'm going to wrap this one in black. Likewise, it's going to come in slant as well. So I'm going to take it to the iron, uh, ironing table and gum all of it and cut it out. So here's what we're going to be having. This after gumming it to the fabric. You can see I make this one straight. I make this one slant and i make this one full slant right so after joining i will take this to the ironing table also i'm going to fold all of the edges you can see fold all of the edges everything all step by step and also i'm going to fold this one as well so after folding this we are simply going to be able you can see this word i'm going to fold this one as well then after we are done we can simply align them all together you can see what i'm having here now you can see where this is going to be you can see that you can see what that's looking like so far so this is going to be the main outfit itself is actually a black and don't forget this is a white this is a white it's like the reverse is the same thing this is the main fabric of the outfit itself it's a black so if you're having a straight line of black looking like this this is going to be like in the middle and this is going to be on the side so this is going to be obvious like the pocket design is going to be obvious on the outfit itself so this is what we're going to be having after we are done you see what we have here this steel is just basically it's just disrupts the straight line on the black outfit itself that's why i put this steel so you know the black outfit is going to have a straight line following the same line here but this steel is going to like disrupt it at the edge so that is the result you're going to be having if you are done and you want to add your metal tag probably you're going to add your metal tag at exactly this corner right here you see what i have here just exactly this corner right here or depending on where you want to put it you could put it here you could put it here but this is where i'm going to be putting it just somewhere exactly around here that's where my tag is going to be so that's about it on this tutorial if you like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are yet to subscribe to the channel i'll see you on another one peace and do have a lovely rest of your day bye bye